So as I'm sure it says in the title or the thumbnail, I lost my keys at work. That's what's going to be the adventure for today is trying to figure out how to get new keys for that. And I got a couple of tips from a locksmith that is pretty useful information. I think will help some other people out too. So let's get going on that. So originally I thought I was going to have to drill out the uh, ignition lock cylinder and replace that with a whole new set of keys. But apparently, according to a locksmith, there is another way and it is actually cheaper too. So let me show you what he told me. So you can apparently actually find the code for your key, the key code, on the locks on your doors. If you only have the lock on your driver's side handle, then it'll be on the driver's side. But if you have the lock on the passenger door also, it will only be on the passenger door lock. So the tricky thing about our cars here is that you have to remove the door panel to get to that lock. It's on the inside of the handle, so you wanna start by taking this off. I've already got it all half pulled off. Get this off, and then you wanna start with this screw here and get that off and anything that'll hang up. And then we're gonna pull this whole door panel off so we can get up inside and reach the back of the handle. The door handle slides forward and then it comes out. You also need to pop off your armrest here. And that exposes these screws here. There's a little rod and a clip in there. I don't know if I can do it one handed. Just try and get that off of there. I'm going to sit the camera down so I don't break it, but. Just get that rod off of that clip. You can remove the whole thing if you want by uh, taking this window crank off. For now, I'm gonna see if I can just fit in like this. You wanna peel this uh, water shield back out of the way, trying not to tear it. We do want to try to get this back on. I think I don't have to take all those off. All those rod, all these rods and every, all these clips. And I think as long as we can get this bolt off, it's on the top of the lock. We take that out. You rotate the lock clockwise and it should pop right out of there without having to disconnect the entire handle. It is a 10 millimeter socket. All right, mine was pretty uh, grody. So I had to clean it up so you could actually read the numbers. But there's a bunch of numbers all over this thing. But the one you want, it's going to be the only five digit number on the piece. And it'll be right here under this bracket. And this five digit code is the one that you want. That is the number that they can make new keys off of that. So I went to my local locksmith and took the lock with me. You don't actually need the lock with you as long as you have that number, but I just took it anyway, just so like we could be sure and he could actually uh, test it. But, boom, $25. Can't really beat that, especially since I was quoted $120 or 
buy a new ignition lock cylinder and drill out the old one and all that. So, moment of truth here. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, definitely worth 25 bucks. I'm gonna be gentle with her. She's been sitting here for about a week. So I hope this little trick helps some other people out. $25 versus $120 is definitely way better. So, so whenever it stops raining, I'm gonna get all that back together. And I guess that's all for this video. I'll catch you guys later. Remember, be kind and stay safe.